That's right. Listen at this now. What meanest thou, O sleeper? Uh -huh. Arise, call upon thy God. Get up and call upon God. If so be that God will if think upon so us. If so be God will think upon us. Upon us. That we perish not. That's what I want. Oh, yes. Every wise person should want God to think on him. To think on him. Lord. Oh, yes. Think about saving me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, Hallelujah. in the midst of my sins, I don't want you to think about cutting me off. That's right. But think about having mercy on me. That's right. Glory be to God. If so be that God will you think know, upon us. You know, that is so beautifully said. Oh, yes. If so be that God that will God think upon us. Viewers, Hallelujah. God is proving that he's thinking about the whole world. That's right. By sending this message to you today. That's right. Yeah. That's right. God is thinking he's about thinking. the world. Oh, yes. And he's giving everybody a fair chance to run to him. That's right. If you don't take advantage, glory to God of this change, of this chance, is because of your own arrogance. Oh, yes. Your own hard headedness mm -hmm. your own stubbornness, yeah. and your own self willness That's right. Listen at this. If so be that God will think about if us. If so be that God will think about that, us. That we perish not. That we don't perish. And they said, everyone to his fellows, come and let us cast lots. Let's cast lots. That we may know for whose cause this Listen, evil is upon us. We know. We was living, we were selling on good waters. Yeah. Calm. Calm. But something's wrong. That's right. We better cast lots and see mm -hmm. who is this and evil. what is the problem. That's right. You know, sometimes right. the who is the problem that's in your life. Oh, yes. And a lot of time it takes God, God. to throw that thing overboard. That's right. Yeah. What do you mean? That's right. As long as Jonah was on that boat, mm -hmm. everybody was in danger. Everybody. But when they got rid of Jonah, they got rid of the problem. That's right. Now do you see what I'm telling you? That's right. Look at your life. Yeah. What's in it? What's in it? Who is in it? Yeah. That's threatening your eternal life with God. That's right. Who is in your life? What's that? in your life that's affecting your relationship with God? That's it. And now if your life is in turmoil yeah. as a result of him or them or they. Oh, yes. Throw them over, boy. Throw them over. That's right. Glory to God. Get rid of the excess baggage. Get rid of them. Your life wasn't in turmoil. Yeah. Until you met him or her right. or it. That's right. Do you hear this? Come and let us cast lots. Let us cast lots. And the lot fell upon Jonah. <laughs> Amen. God have a way of digging up the problem. That's right. The lot fell on Jonah. And then said they unto him, tell us, we pray thee. Jonah, tell us. Yeah. We pray thee. Uh -huh. For whose cause this evil is upon us. Why in the world? Is our ship about to be torn up? That's right. You better do some explaining. What is thine occupation? Everything was all right until you, you got here. What kind of work do you do? And whence comest thou? <laughs> huh? That's you right. hear what they ask? What is thine occupation? What kind of work do you do? <laughs> and whence comest thou? Where you come from? What is thy country? What country are you from? And of what people art thou? What's your nationality? And he said What's your background? That's right. Who's your kinfolk? That's right. These are all legitimate, <laughs> legitimate questions. Why? Man, we got to get to the source of this problem. That's right. You better go back and ask that again. What is in Jonah chapter 1 and verse 8? All right. What is thine occupation? Feel us. Amen. <laughs> Wonderful. Do you know the background Wonderful. of the ones in your life? That's it. Do you know what kind of work they do? That's right. Not what kind of work they say they do. Yeah. Do you know the kind of work they do? That's right. Mm-hmm. What is thine occupation? What kind of work you have? And whence comest thou? <laughs> Amen. Where do you come from? Do you come from God or the devil? That's it. Why are you in my life? That's true. Why are you here? That's right. What you want from me? That's right. Glory to God. Glory to God. What is thy country? What? What is thy country? Where are you from? Amen. Uh -huh. And of what people art thou? What? 
people are you? What's your background? What's your relatives? What, what, what family? What's your family? What kind of family you come from? That's right. Uh, are, are they tore up from the flow up? Are they God fearing? Do you come from a house of gamblers and drunks and racketeers and gang bangers? That's right. That's right. Mm. These are all legitimate all questions. All legitimate questions. Why? You want to know what you are surrounded with. That's right. All right. What is thine occupation and whence comest thou? Yes. What is thy country and of what people art thou? Uh -huh. And he said unto them, I am a Hebrew. I'm a Hebrew. And I fear the Lord. Uh-oh. <laughs> I fear God. And I fear the Lord, the God of heaven. Yes. Which hath made the sea and the dry land. Uh -huh. Then were the men exceedingly afraid. Wait a minute. Amen. We got someone hiding. <laughs> and now they talk about they fear God. That's right. I is she hiding from God? From God. <laughs> Amen. But he kept it under wraps. That, yes, he did. That's the way many of you are, viewers. Yes. True. You keep your belief in God under wraps. That's right. Because you don't want that man to know <laughs> that if I follow what I believe, I can't have you in my life now. That's true. Eh? That's true. Many of you brothers keep that belief of God under wraps. Under wraps. Because if I follow, blessed be the great God of Abraham, yeah. what I believe, yeah. you can't be in my life now. That's true. Many of you keep your belief under wraps because if I follow what the word of God said, yeah. I got to leave that kind of job. That's right. That's true. Eh? That's true. If I tell my family members what I believe because I'm afraid not to be in the family circle, yeah. I keep it on the wraps. That's right. Jesus said, if you're ashamed of me. That's right. Didn't you say so? That's right. I'll be ashamed of you. Who will take God before my father, which is in heaven. That's right. You know, God wants a people that's not ashamed of not him. Not ashamed of him. Not ashamed of him in no fall. That's right. How can you be embarrassed by serving him yeah. that gave you life? That's yeah. right. Oh, yeah. Stop being concerned yeah. about how you look in the eyes of others. Yeah. And you better be concerned about how you look in the eyes of God. That's right. What did he say, son? Then were the men exceedingly Louis afraid. Said, God. Then were the men exceedingly be afraid. God, exceedingly, they afraid. scared now. That's right. Uh -huh. And said unto him, Why hast thou done this? Why in the world did you do this? For the, for the men knew that he fled from the presence of the Lord. Mm. Yes. The one that's in your arms now. Are you being used as a form of safety? Haven. That's right. Because they are running from God. That's right. A lot of folk never even thought on that no. man. No, no. Is he or she running to you uh -huh. and using you as a form of a safe haven? Hmm. But yet they are running from God. Yeah. Viewers, are you going from false church to false church to false church and some of you got the truth in you? Yes. That's right. Someone say what? Give me the first chapter of Romans real quick. Romans, oh yes. Oh yes. Romans chapter 1, begin at verse 18. Romans chapter 1. Running from false church to false church and yet the truth is in them and some of them because God made it known to them. Romans chapter 1 and verse 18. Read fast. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness. The wrath of God, the anger of God is revealed from heaven against all the wicked. And unrighteousness of men. Yes. Who hold the truth. Notice. The wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness, against all that is ungodly, and unrighteousness of men, and all men that are wrong. Who and hold wait, the and truth? And them that are wrong, what position are they in, Williams? Who hold the truth? They hold what? The truth. They hold what? The truth. In what? In unrighteousness. How did they get it? Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. How did they get it? For God has showed it unto them. Yeah. That's oh, something. Yes. Many of you That's running something. from fake man-made religion to fake man-made religion. Yes. No better. No better. That's right. 
No, it's wrong. No better. They're still under woman preachers. Come on, That's right. No, it's wrong. That's right. To remarry and divorce. That's right. Yeah. But you will go to that adulterous marriage anyway. Anyway. Because your close friend or your boss on your job eh, getting the second wife and you won't say nothing. He come and ask you, hey, Jeff, you know, me and my first wife, that relationship didn't work out, you know, but wow, man, I, Shirley, oh, Shirley is a knockout. Oh, I, <laughs> she's a knockout. <laughs> That's I, right. I, I'm crazy about Shirley. What? That's right. Jeff, what you think? You you know, I want you to be the best man at my wedding. And here's old Jeff. Here's Been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. He may be a backslider now, but he had the Holy Ghost. That's and right. he know that the word of God said that you're bound by the law as long as you live, but they keep it under wraps. That's right. Because he's scared that his past faith yeah. will be a present threat. Yeah. That's right. That's where many of you are now. Oh, yeah. And that's why many of you go along to get along because you're afraid that your present faith yeah. in Scripture will be a present threat. Well, that's right. I'd rather that my faith in Scripture yeah. be a present threat to the whole world. That's right. Then God be a threat to my soul. That's right. In St. Mark chapter 8 and verse 38. Give chapter and verse again. St. Mark chapter 8, now we're at verse 38. That's what? Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me. Look at Jesus talking. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Whosoever. Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed oh, of me. God therefore will be ashamed. Of me. Of me. And of my words. And of what I believe yeah. and what I preach in this adulterous and sinful generation in this adulterous mm. this man swapping and wife swapping and this idolatry that's included there too that's right eh? that's right generation of him of him also shall the son of man be ashamed the son of man gonna be ashamed of him too when he cometh in the glory of his father he's the son of man gonna be so ashamed of him he's not going to accept him that, that's right that's right. The son of man going to be too ashamed, too ashamed to spend eternity with you. That's right. That's right. If you're ashamed of anything God said today. Whosoever, therefore. Then he going to be ashamed of you. That's right. When Jesus comes. That's right. He going to be so ashamed. He's not going to want to be seen with you mm. in eternity. That's, That's right. True. That's right. Hmm? That's something, brother. That's something. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Come on, He's not going to want to be seen with you. My Lord. Amen. My Lord. In other words, that's his way of paying you back. Yeah. That's right. The Lord ain't no one you throw under the brush. Oh, no. no. Hide under a rug. Oh, one, no. one scripture said it wasn't done in the corner. That's right. And it wasn't. That's right. Eh? Whosoever therefore. Whosoever. Whosoever Lord, therefore. God therefore. Shall be ashamed of me. Shall be ashamed of me. And of my words. And of what I preach. In this adulterous and, and sinful this adulterous generation. this and sinful generation. Of him also shall the son of man be ashamed. The preachers in the mega churches have proven to be ashamed of him. Oh yes. Because look at the generation that God pointed out the characteristics of the generation. In this adulterous. They are. They don't preach against adultery. No. And sinful. They don't preach against sin. Generation. That's right. Because they're too ashamed. Too ashamed. They have more respect for notoriety, popularity, and money right. more than they do God Almighty Himself. That's right. Go back to Jonah real fast and we'll go back to where we were to the foundation of the thing. Back in the book of Jonah, chapter 1, we're at verse 10. All right. Then were the men exceedingly afraid and said unto him, Yes. Why hast thou done this? Why are you here? For the men knew that he fled from they the presence that of the Lord. Try to run from the presence of God. Because he had told them. Yes. Then said they unto him, What shall we do unto thee? Wait a minute. What are we going to do with you now? That the yeah. sea may be calm unto us. In order. Now, viewers, I want you to get this. Amen. If you want calmness, Calmness. And your disturbed life. That's right. Cooperate. That's it. With God. That's right. Get me. That's right. I say, if you want calmness in your life, cooperate. That's it. With God. God's sake, go to Nineveh. That's right. Jonah. No, I ain't. 
<laughs> Amen. I'm getting out of this. I'm getting out of this. If I got the hot on the ship, I'm getting out of here. That's right. And as a result of this, I want you to pay attention. Mm -hmm. As a result of Jonah's disobedience, mm -hmm. everybody around him, their lives yeah. were threatened. That's right. That's right. Everybody. Everybody. God told me, preach the word. Yes. If I don't do that, then my wife and my children, my immediate family, yeah. life is in threatened. That's, That's true. true. Amen. That's true. So they keep the sea calm. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I ain't hiding. Come on, Jerry. That's right. Glory to God. I will, by God permission, continue to speak boldly in the synagogue. Oh yeah. Amen. Amen. That's right. That blessings may be upon my house. Wonderful, brother. And not curse. That's right. Do you get what I'm telling you? Yes. Amen. Your house can be blessed oh, yeah. through the obedience of one. Oh, yeah. And your house can be cursed through the disobedience of another. That's right. Oh, this is beautifully outlined. Oh, Hear oh, this yeah. now. Then said they unto him, what shall we do unto thee? What shall we do to you? That the sea may be calm unto us. Eh? For the sea wrought and was temptatious. Notice, they asked Jonah, Amen. what shall we do to you? That the sea may be calm unto us. So we can have some peace while we're on this journey. For the sea wrought and was the temptuous. The sea wrought and was tempted. And he said unto them, take me up. Wait a minute. Jonah <laughs> said, I, 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 look, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> yeah. I, know, I, I, I know what y'all got to do with me. Right. Jonah said, take me up. And yeah. cast me forth into the sea. Throw me out. That's right. Why aren't you that honest, viewer? Mm. Why aren't you that honest? <laughs> Amen. When that second wife tell you she want to be saved That's right. and she done tried everything she could. That's right. Why don't you be honest and tell her? Mm -hmm. You got to throw me out the house. That's it. <laughs> That's right. Be honest. <laughs> be honest. You got to get me out your life. That's right. Eh? That's right. Hey, preacher, be, be honest. You that got these man-made religion, when they say, look, I want to be saved. Bishop, I want to be saved. You got to leave the church that I pastor. That's right. You got to leave the three God church. You got to leave the two God church. Amen. You got to leave the church where the women can preach. You got to leave the church where women can be deacons. You got to leave the church that fly rainbow flags. You got to leave the church that have no discipline, that don't believe in a baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't believe in the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Throw it out. That's right. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Lay it aside. Amen. Do you hear what he said? And he said unto them, take me up. Take me up and cast me forth into the sea. Yeah, that's what you have to do with your pastor. <laughs> that's right. That's right. All of you rush the pulpit. <laughs> Amen. Take him up. Take that right. And throw him out in the street. Throw him out. Amen. Get some calmness in your life. That's Thank right. God, because as it stands now, you on your way to hell. Oh, yes. God knows. Oh yes. Huh? Oh yes. Come on, son. And he said unto them, "Take me up. Take thee up. And Take cast thee up. me mm -hmm. uh -huh. and cast me forth into the sea. Throw me in the water. So shall the sea be calm unto you. And that's the solution to the problem. Yeah. For I know that for my sake, I know because of me, this great tempest is upon you, viewers. Because of the preachers sent by the devil, uh -huh. right. there's a great, great tempest, great tempest upon yeah. creation. That's right." That's right. Your soul is lost. That's right. Lost. Yes. You got money, but you're still lost. Yes. Amen. Got the woman of your dreams and the man of your nightmare, but you're still lost. That's right. Got the income you want, got the job you want, you got the car or cars that you want, you got your wardrobe, yeah. but you're still lost. Still lost. Your investments is doing well, but you're still oh, yeah. lost. That's right. Something got to be tossed aside. That's right. Yeah. Huh? And he said unto them, take me he up. He said, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. 
Amen. Take me up. And cast me forth into cast the sea. Cast me forth into the sea. So shall the sea be calm unto so you. So the sea can be calm unto you. For I know that for my sake. I know because of me. This great tempest is this upon you. This great tempest is upon me. Nevertheless, the men rode hard to bring it to the land. And what? But they could not, for the sea wrought and was tempestuous against them. Yeah. Wherefore they cried unto the Lord. They cried to God. And said, we beseech thee, O Lord, we beseech thee. They start praying. Let us not perish for this man's life. Wait a minute. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Lord have mercy on us. That's right. Don't kill us because of this man's oh, life. No. Let us not perish for this man's life. Uh, Jonah. <laughs> That's right. The whole time, the moment he made up in his mind not to do what God say do. Yeah. He was in sin. Yes. Yes, he was. That's true. The whole time. That's right. This shows you how the disobedience of one, one. can affect a whole lot. That's how true. you think the whole world got in sin? That's right. right. By the disobedience of one man. One man. Yeah. By one man, the Bible says sin came into, into the, world, the world. And death by sin. That's right. Uh -huh. We beseech thee, O Lord, we beseech thee. Amen. Uh -huh. All right. Let us not perish for this man's life. We don't life. want to die because of this man. That's and right. lay not upon us innocent blood. Wait a minute. We're innocent. Okay. That's right. You didn't talk to us. That's, That's right. right. He's guilty. Yeah. That's right. Uh -huh. For thou, O Lord, has done as it pleased thee. Yes. So they took up Jonah and yeah. cast him forth into they the sea. They got Jonah. That's right. And put him in the sea. Yeah. And the sea ceased. They cast him. They cast him. That's right. And I mean, they, they, they be, they be, take it easy now. Don't drown. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> hey, Jonah, right. Jonah, can you swim? No, no. Anybody ask that? <laughs> no, they didn't. What? <laughs> That's right. What did they do, son? So they took up Jonah. They hold it. They took up. They, they, so they took Jonah. up Jonah and did what? And cast him forth into the sea. <laughs> Throw him over. Throw him over. Sometimes we are too gentle. Yeah. With the problem. That's right. That's true. And when you're too gentle with the problem, you really don't want to get rid of the problem. And yet you see the problem is causing so much chaos yeah. in your life. That's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. Yes, Glory to God. Eh? So they took up Jonah. They took up Jonah. And cast him forth into the sea. Threw him in the sea. And the sea ceased from a raging. Yeah. That's right. Amen. The sea ceased, ceased from her raging. From her raging, then calmness the, came. Calmness. Because now, God wasn't in behind them. Right. He was in behind him. That's right. Then what? Then the men feared the Lord exceedingly uh -huh. and offered a sacrifice unto the Lord and made yeah. vows. Oh, well, they made promises now. <laughs> That's right. Uh -huh. and we, got rid, we got rid of Jonah. We better get ourselves right now. <laughs> That's right. We better start making God some promises. I won't do this. I won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I won't do the other. That's right. You know, God know how to bring an experience in your life. Yes, he will. That I make you Vow to God. That's right. And the thing is, when you make that promise, you better stick to it. Stick to it. Until you die. That's right. God don't like when you make a vow and break it. He says it's better you hadn't made it. Had never made it. Uh -huh. Come on, son. Now the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah. There was a great fish prepared. Amen. Prepare, already there. Already there. To swallow Jonah up. And Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Now, the journey to Nineveh was three days. Yeah. And because of his hard headness, God allowed him to spend those three days and three nights mm -hmm. in the belly of the fish. Of the fish. Now, after the fish spewed him up, That's right. Jonah was a new man. That's right. A new heart. Amen. New mind. Oh, yes. Yes, he was resurrected. Oh, yes. And that's what we need. Yeah. We need to be resurrected so we can totally see ourselves. That's right. And that's what the word of God does. It's totally. like a shovel. Yeah. Because we are covered with the dirt of sin. Oh, yeah. And the preacher that God sends come with the shovel of the gospel to free you out of that dirt. That's right. And then present you to the mirror of scripture. That's it. So you can see yourself internally and externally. That's right. And I strongly advise you yeah. 
Be honest with what you see. Oh, yes. What you see may be ugly, <laughs> filthy, filthy, and dirty. That's right. But you might as well call it for what it is. For if any be a hearer of the word. Do you hear this? In the book of St. James, chapter 1 and verse 23. If any. If any be a hearer of the word. Be a hearer of God's word. And not a doer. And you don't do what it says. He is like unto a man beholding his natural face you in like a glass. You like a man that's looking into a glass. For he beholdeth himself. He look at himself. And goeth his way. And then go his way. And straightway forgetteth what straight man, man he was. He forget. What manner of man he was. In other words, he forget the image, the image that was there in the mirror. That's right. All right, let's go back to the foundation of where we got started at. Back in the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, and at verse 4. Follow me. You have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin. Yes. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. Yes. My son, despise not My thou son. Do not reject the, the chastening of the Lord, of the Lord, nor faint when thou Don't art go rebuked falling out and get all bent out of shape when you get rebuke. All of us need rebuke sometime in our life. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'd rather get rebuke now. Yes. And be saved. And be saved. Than be rebuked by the Lord later. That's right. And be cast into hell. That's right. Well, my father rebuked me. Didn't feel good. No. But uh, I, I will accept that above this modern way of raising folk now. That's right. Yeah. Amen. There's this mess that they do now. It don't even make a man or, or a half woman out of you. Uh, amen. You'd be almost a mannequin. Nothing. That's right. No sense of respect. No responsibility. No ethics. No nothing. No nothing. So when we are rebuked as a child, it don't feel good. No. And sometimes, you know, one thing I've learned about children, they don't feel as though the chastisement should come upon them when they do wrong. Right. They feel as though, well, you know, I didn't do that much. <laughs> that's right. In their eyes, it's not that much. It's not that bad. And that's why many of you sinners that are watching you think, yeah. well, wait a minute, there's only one thing I didn't do, it ain't, it ain't something to go to hell over, <laughs> says who? That's right. That's, That's right. the way the center is. That's the way the center is. You mean to tell me I've gone to hell because I'm not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ because I don't believe it? Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh yes. yes. Yeah. The Bible says he that believeth and is baptized, and is baptized. shall be saved. And he that don't believe it shall be damned. Shall be damned. That don't mean you're going to Florida. No. no. You're going to hell. That's right. Into the fire. Into the yeah. fire. Thank God that never shall be quenched. That's right. Uh -huh. And you have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh you unto you. You forgot the exhortation that speak to you. As unto children. As unto children. My son despise oh, oh, not here, thou the here, chaste. Hear the instructions yeah. from God through mm -hmm. the Apostle Paul. My son. My, look at the relationship. That's right. Between God and his church. That's right. My son. That. Despise not thou the despise chastening of the Lord. Despise not. The chastisement of God. No faint. Don't faint. When thou art rebuked of him. Sometimes we lay people out, they get mad and don't come to church for six months. Get mad. That's true. I ain't coming to church until Pastor Jennings called me. You know you's a fool. That's a fool. It's amazing how you treat God like that, but you won't treat your job like that. That's right. You will keep going to the job the next day. Even if they say they're taking uh, $25 out to check. That's right. Because you know you ain't got no other source of income. You're going right back to the job you hate. That's right. And sit there and do the work. Amen. Mad is the devil. That's right. Mad as the devil, but you're right back punching that clock. In. Right back. That's true. Same Boston laid you out. Speak to you. <laughs> How you doing, Jack? <laughs> but Jack is back. Jack is back. Mm -hmm. That's right. You see, they treat God worse. Oh yeah. That's right. That's right. Than they treat man. Oh yes. And yet, it is God who we look to make provisions for us. That's right. That's right. The Bible says, "What my son, my son, church, despise not thou despise the chastening of the Lord, the chastening of the Lord, nor, nor faint, faint when thou art rebuked of when him. you get laid out." For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. Oh, wonderful. Amen. Wonderful. Do you hear that? For oh, whom yeah. the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. It don't feel like it, don't do it. Oh, no. No. 
That's why many of you viewers don't like to hear us. That's right. One man made his own uh, uh, about a few seconds of a uh, podcast or whatever tar targeting me. Yeah. Mm. He said, Pastor Jenner, I don't like you. The reason why I don't like you because you talk about hell too much. <laughs> I don't like you. He said, I like some other preacher he called. He said, I like that preacher. He don't send you to hell. <laughs> Pastor Jenner, you send everybody to hell. Lord. I don't send nobody to hell because right. hell is not mine to send you. No. Listen, if it was left to me to send to hell, the whole government of America would be there. But that's right. I send them right while they're in, right while they're in Congress. <laughs> you will see each politician just disappearing. <laughs> I send the president while he's getting inaugurated. Lord. Huh? While he got his hand up, Choo! gone. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I, I send Putin to hell. Yeah. In fact, he would have been there since last week. <laughs> That's, right. Eh? That's right. Lord, I take God. So hell is not mine to sin. No. You're going to go because of your actions. That's right. You're hard-head, viewers. You're stubborn. That's right. You're arrogant. You're self-righteous. And you want to believe you're a Christian just because you go to the church of your choice. Uh -uh -uh. Uh -uh. No, sir. Oh, you no. going to do this thing like God said it? Yeah. Right. Or you're going to be damned? You're going to be damned. You might care nothing about who you are. <laughs> Politician, celebrity, global no. award carrier. You got your little star on the Hollywood cheap of fame. That's right. Care nothing about your name up in lights. That's you right. want your name up in lights? God going to give you some lights now. Oh, yeah. And they're going to burn. God knows. That's right. All right. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. And what else? And scourgeth every son whom he receives. Yes. If ye endure chastening. What? If ye endure if. chastening. If. If. If you stand. That's right. That's chastening. Yeah. If but, you tolerate. Uh -huh. Chastening. chastening. If you put up with chastening. chastening. If you endure it, God being chased, being that's chastised. Right. That's right. What is God doing? God dealeth with you as with sons. God is showing our his relationship. That's right. He's dealing with you as with sons or as a father that correct children. For what son is he who what the father chasteneth not? Is he whom the father don't correct. Right. But if he be without chastisement. Wait a minute. Amen. When I came up, my father correct me and did it well. Amen. We didn't, well, we wasn't told to go in the corner, time out. No. No. That's not chastisement. That's not chastisement. What a child going to feel from that. <laughs> That's right. That child is sitting in that corner and cussing his mother and father out. That's right. When you are chastised, you got to feel something. That's right. Eh? That's right. That's right. Whenever the Lord chastised anybody in the word of God, they felt something. Oh, yes. Even if God, even when you are convicted in your heart, that's chastisement. That's right. When the word of God said they were pricked in their heart, they was pricked in their heart because something was being preached by the apostle Peter. Right. Don't worry, thank God, this thing will cut your heart. I lose your will. It'll cut you. Come on. Do you hear what it says? If ye endure chastening. If. If. Ye endure chastening. God dealeth God with you. Is de that's only waste of time getting mad at me. That's right. God dealeth with you. Who's dealing with you? God dealeth with you. You can sit there and grumble and mumble over what we preach all you want. I don't waste, that's what's wasted energy. That's right. Save your energy. Save your energy because God knows I'm going to step to you with Bible. That's right. Don't care who you are. That's right. I don't even care who you think you are. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You know, some folks think they're something. Think they're something. And I'm here to tell you, you're less than nothing. That's right. Eh? That's right. The Holy Ghost said. If ye endure chastening. If. If. Ye endure the hardness of the scripture. God dealeth with you as with sons. All right, hold it. You out there and you that are in here say you want God to deal with you. Mm. You keep saying, I want right. God to deal with me. Some of you say, I want God to show me something. I want God, that's right. I want God to appear to me. I, I hear the testimonies how God done so many things for people. I want God to deal with me deal with well. Him. He's dealing with you right now. That's right. Do you know chastisement is still God dealing with you? Amen. Because before one goes straight, 
They got to be dealt with. Yes. Oh, yeah. Because you already on a crooked path. That's right. That's, right. That's right. So you must be dealt with mentally. You must be dealt with emotionally. You must be dealt with spiritually so the physical body can get right and get on a straight path and stay there. Stay there. And every time we wander from that path, we come back and be dealt with again. That's yeah. right. Viewers, you don't want that. No. Oh, no. Oh. You, don't, you don't want a church that deal with you with Bible. Oh, you no. want a church that pacify you. That's right. You want a church that just keep dealing with your wallet. <laughs> you want a church that rub, you know, if you rub a cat, enough it'll start purring. Yes, it will. You can hear. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. You go rub the dog, dog will lick you. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't purr and I don't lick. <laughs> That's right. God made me a preacher. Oh, yeah. I bite. You bite. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And when God said, preach the word, preach the word. what is he telling me? Sick him, Pastor Jenny. That's right. Sick him. Sick him. Sick him. That's right. Go get him. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm the type of preacher I am. That's right. Thank God I come. See that second wife and second husband. I come in your house with Bible and I see you in the bed with that woman, ain't your wife, and your first wife is living. I come growling with scripture. That's right. Barking. Come Cut out. That's right. <laughs> you still don't move. I bark again. Cut out. That's right. You still don't move. Then I look at you. <laughs> Then you remain hard hit. I grab your lover by the ankle. Come out of there. <laughs> Come out of there. <laughs> Why are we doing it? We're doing it to save yeah. your soul from hell. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Hallelujah. You don't want that done. No, you don't want that done. No, I don't want that done. That's why you get these old weak, watered down, hand me down, Raggedy Ann and Andy preachers. <laughs> That's right. They see you like the devil, like a bunch of softy. Oh, yeah. You know, when I was a kid, and it's about this time of year when the weather's nice, Mr. Softy will come up the street. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Huh? Yeah. Hey, man, I heard Mr. Softy a few days ago. Uh -huh. Song haven't changed. <laughs> and the kids still running to Mr. Softy. He's still running. Get the little ice cream just on there with the little jimmies <laughs> and whatnot. <laughs> Well, it's all right. It's all right. I like the ice cream that you get that scoop. Yeah. And it makes your arm flex when you're pushing it. <laughs> you, you got to scoop that stuff. Got your tongue hanging out. <laughs> you, got the, you, got, you got to put that scoop in hot water. Make it warm. Then put it back in there. That's <laughs> right. That's right. Fight with it. Fight with it. That's good ice cream. Oh, yeah. Mr. Softy, run all down the cone, <laughs> run all down your hands, all on your clothes. Amen. You want that stuff that got to get a grip, get a grip on it. and make you get all ugly in the face. <laughs> I say good ice cream. Good ice cream. Hmm? That's right. Viewers, you got Mr. Softy. Oh, yeah. That's what you got for preachers, well, Mr. Softy. Mr. Softy. They don't tell you nothing that will deliver your soul from everlasting destruction. That's right.